practice for you to do over the festive break. Nothing too short, nothing too long, just something you can fit in in between your family time. So let's get started. I'm going to start in child's pose. So taking the knees as wide as your mat, bearing the hips towards the heels. Set on your hip, taking an inhale and as you exhale, walk the hands on the mat, drop the forehead and the nose down. Let the shoulders relax away from the ears. And then breathe. Spending the first few seconds just grounding ourselves here, letting go of what's going on in breathing. Setting up an equal length inhale and an equal length exhale. Breathing in for three or four counts, matched by an exhale of three or four counts. Fingertips creep forwards, hips creep back. through the body from the fingertips all the way up to the shoulders, shoulders to hips, hips to knees, knees to heels. Looking for any little bits of tightness, anything you need to keep an eye on in your practice today. Taking another few breaths here. Just breathing in. And breathing out, trying to make that breath nice and long and relaxed. Next, inhale draws you up into an all fours position. Spread your fingertips nice and wide, first finger points forward. Having the shoulders over the wrists, knees underneath the hips, and the toes to under if you've got cranky knees, if not, leave them long. Coming into cat cow, inhale, gaze goes up. Moving here with your own breath at your own pace. Taking four or five rounds, really pressing into those hands, turning the shoulder blades all the way up to the ceiling. Taking another few rounds here, working flexion and extension, warming up that spine. Breathing in. Drop the baby, foot, 
Third, second, big toe down. Lifting the thighs, sending the tailbone away, squeeze the bum, belly in, shoulders up towards the ears, roll them back, roll them down, palms by your side. Just breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, take hands up high, shift the gaze towards the heel of the palms. Exhale, hold forwards, hands down the mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway, hands can be down on the mat or take them onto the shins, lengthen. Head in line with the hips, belly in, stretching the hamstrings. Exhale, hold, hands find the mat, step your right leg back, step your left leg back, we're in our plank. Fingertips press down, press into those hands, then drop the knees. Turn the elbow creases forwards. Start spending to the elbow, take the chest and the chin down, keep the bum high, feel like a little slug, slide all the way through to the belly. Lengthen, press those feet down, hover the hands, baby cobra, squeeze the bum. Kneecaps lifted, feet pressed down. Let the hands come down to the mat, push back by the knees. Curl the toes under, lift those hips up nice and high. Back in your downward dog, breathe here. Breathing in and breathing out. Shift the gaze forwards. Right foot forwards, as many steps as you need. Left foot forwards. Start to inhale, take the hands onto the shins, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Take the hands out to the side, reach up towards the ceiling, gaze up. Exhale, hands back down by your side. Breathe. Heel toeing those feet back together, back into our mountain pose. Inhale, take the hands up high, sit the bum down lower into our chair. Have a look over the knees. You can see your toes. Send the tailbone away. Pull the belly in, roll the pinky fingers in. Sit that bum down even lower. Just breathe. Maybe smile. Breathing in and breathing out. Exhale, fold all the way forwards. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Halfway. Come back down, hands find the mat. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg back. We're in our plank. Drop down to the knees, chest, chin. Keep the bum high all the way through to our baby cobra. Hovering the hands, press down the feet, kneecaps lifted. Breathe. Hands come down. Push back by the knees. Lift the hips, down the dog. Breathe in here, having a little rest. Inhale, right leg releases away from the mat. Start to bring the right knee towards the nose, wrap the weight forwards, step the foot between the hands. Use your hands to help if you need it. Drop the left knee down, untuck the toes. Take an inhale, rise up, low lunge. Knee and foot are on a train track rather than a tightrope. Left hip forwards, right hip back, sink into those hips. Gaze towards the ceiling, breathe. Start to come forwards, right hand finds right knee, left hand down to the mat, inhale, lengthen. Start to roll the right shoulder up, the left shoulder under, keep pressing that left hand down. Option to extend right hand towards the ceiling. Breathing in and breathing out. Then option to bend, left knee. Kick left heel towards bum cheek. That might be enough, it's quite strong on the left side. Hand drops back, grab the foot. Breathe. Release the hand, release the foot. Right hand comes down to the mat. Start to curl your left toes under, kneecaps lift. Right foot goes back to your downward facing dog. We rock the weight forwards, drop down to the knees. Elbow creases forward, chest, chin, bum high. Inhale, all the way through, press down through the feet, press down the hips, kneecaps lift, hover the hands, baby cobra. Hands come down, back by the knees, lift the hips up high. Downward facing dog. Have a little breather here. Inhale, left leg releases. Start to bring the knee towards the nose. Plant the foot into the mat between the hands. Right knee drops down, untuck your toes. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. Right hip forwards, left hip back, pinky fingers rolling. Breathe. Shift the gaze towards the ceiling, float that chest high. Then change, come all the way forwards. Left hand comes onto the left knee, right hand inside left foot. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Left shoulder up, right shoulder down. Breathing in, breathing out. Option to extend the left hand, reaching into opposite directions. Option 
option to lie down, kicking right heel towards bum cheek. Quite strong, so option to stay. If you want a bit more, hand drops towards the foot. Keep well in the left shoulder up and that right shoulder down. Breathing in and breathing out. Change. Releasing the hand, releasing the foot. Left hand outside, left foot. Curl right toes under, lift the knee. Step that left leg back to downward facing dog. Rock the weight forward to a plank, drop the knees. Bend into the elbows, chest, chin, bum high. All the way through to baby cobra. Hands find the mat, push back by those knees. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Start to shift the gaze forwards. Step the right foot forward, the left foot forward, feet back side by side. Inhale, chair. Roll those fingers in. Breathe. Pull those knees back, sit that tailbone down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Have a wobble. Take the feet out as wide as your mat. Turn the toes out and kick the heels in. Bend into the knees. And let your bum come all the way down. Let the legs come in front of you. Bend into the knees. Pull the toes in towards the face. Inhale, take the hands up overhead, reach forwards, hands come on the base of the feet. Roll the pinky toes in, belly on the thighs. Inhale, drift that chest along those legs. Exhale, kick through the heels, pull the toes in. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Keeping the gaze long, so we're looking beyond the, beyond the tips of our toes. Inhale, lengthen again, exhale, fold. Then change, release those hands, come all the way back up. Drop those hands back behind you, walk them 30 centimetres behind, point the tires. Take an inhale, puff into the chest. Option to stay here, any back issues today, otherwise press into the hands, press into the feet. Breathe, press, squeeze that bottom the shoulders in line with the hips, in line with the shoulders. Everything in line, you know what I mean. <laughs> then change, lower the bum down. Breathe in and breathe out, scoot yourself forward, take the feet down onto the mat. Take the hands out in front of you. Start to roll down slowly. Find the bit where the belly starts to ache. Breathe, hold it there, then drop back. Three, two, one. We're all the way down. Extend the left leg, bring the right leg in towards you. Interlace the fingers underneath the kneecap. Take the right leg out to the side and in towards you. Massaging into the ascending colon here. Breathing in. And breathing out, pulling until you feel a pinch in that hip flexor. Taking the left hand on the outside of the right leg, right arm goes out towards the right, and your right leg goes over towards the left, taking a gentle twist, gazing towards the right thumb, keeping right shoulder down, right hip will lift, maybe a little, maybe a lot, it's up to you. Just breathe. Then change, come all the way back to centre, Give that right leg a final hug in. Send it away. Bring the left leg in towards you. Slice the fingers and pull that knee in towards the armpit. Massage in our descending power on here, keeping the neck nice and long. Pull in until you feel a pinch in that hip flexor and just breathe there. Right hand on the outside of left leg, left arm goes out towards the left. Right arm goes left leg over towards the right and we gaze towards the left hand. Hip lifts, shoulder stays anchored. Breathing in and breathing out, taking a gentle twist, calming everything down. Just breathe. Coming all the way back to centre, give that left leg a hug in. And loosen the grip, bring the right leg in as well. Grab it in opposite wrists, have the toes pulled in towards you, feet side by side, and pull. Pull those arms. We're pulling those thighs down onto the belly. Keep the tailbone down. Head long. Gaze at the ceiling beyond where your toes would be. Then change. Let it all go. Let the legs go long and the arms come down both sides. Into your final resting shape. Just closing the eyes, softening the gaze. Releasing the tension in the forehead. Letting the eyes sink into the skull. Opening and closing the mouth a couple of times.
times we're going to tuck it the teeth one way and then the other noticing how much loose that jaw feels the shoulders are away from the ears fingertips lightly curling the breath's just returning back to normal there's no structure there just how we breathe in our day-to-day -day lives legs are long toes stop at the end of the feet we're just resting taking a couple of minutes here Noticing how we feel now versus how we did at the start of class. Just breathing in and breathing out. If any thoughts come into the mind, just acknowledge them, notice them there, and pop them off to the side and come back to them after our practice. Breathing in. the body, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, maybe take the hands up overhead, stretch the left hand side and the right hand side, anything you want to do. Then when you're ready, you take a roll into your right hand side using your arm like a little pillow, staying supported there. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, pushing yourself all the way up to seated, finishing how we, ending how we started. Yeah. Finishing how we started. So hands come on the lap, let the shoulders go away from the ears, just breathe. Still keeping those eyes closed and the gaze soft just while we close off. Take an inhale, hands come up overhead, palms touch, hands drop down through the centre of the chest. See if those hands are up, generate some heat. Keep going until those hands get really hot. Keep going and going and going. Then heart the hands, enjoy that tingling sensation radiating through your fingers and your palms. Pop those hands over the eyes. Starting to blink the eyes open, spread the fingers, let the light filter back in. Hands drop away into the lap. Absolute pleasure. I hope you liked this video. I was a bit umming and ahhing about whether to do it, to be quite honest, but I've just gone for it. I'm leaving all the, all the little mistakes in and everything. Why not? So. Absolute pleasure as always, everybody. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of your festive break and I will see you in 2020 if you're watching this over Christmas or if not, I'll see you in class in the next couple of weeks. Well done. Thanks.